Hi, welcome to a chip off the old block toys. I'm Jeff. Today we're going to organize some of these vehicles that uh, were damaged, taken apart during the move. Um, just don't have time to do it, so I'll do this on camera and hopefully we'll have fun by answering questions and uh, some other things. Now the first one I'm going to do, it's set number 7635. It's an SUV with a horse trailer. Uh, this is actually one of my favorites. And uh, hello, Jenny. Um, thanks for joining. So this set has got three minifigures. And let's see. It was released in 2009, so that makes it 12 years old, 168 pieces, not a very big build. I've actually got two of these. Well, it says it has three minifigures, but I'm only seeing two. Oh, no, just two. I've always enjoyed this about the uh, Lego horses where uh, they, they put this uh, one by two brick and a tile on top of it so that you can have a horse without a chunk missing or you can take the chunk out and put a saddle in there and then you have a place for a rider to stand, sit, whatever you want to call it. Hi, Brick. Uh, by Nick and hey Radiator Springs, how you doing today? Thanks for joining me, both of you. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, today if you missed it, we're gonna put together a horse trailer. It's a it's a RV with a horse trailer, released in two thousand nine. I think this was one of the first of many of like an RV series with trailers that Lego did certainly one of my favorites uh, actually I'm I'm doing pretty good um, today was my uh, first day back to work uh, I've been off for about two months I, I had surgery on my uh, spine and so it was a very interesting day returning to work after being gone two months Thanks, Nick. I appreciate it. Uh, Radiator Springs, it actually it wasn't as bad as um, it sounds. Um, I, I was very fortunate that the surgery um, went really well uh, to the point where uh, I didn't take pain pills past the third day, which, believe me, I thought I'd be taking them a lot longer than that. But I appreciate the concern. Um, basically, I had a disc in my neck that... that uh, ruptured completely and there was no there was no amount of physical therapy or anything that was going to put it back so uh, they took it out and replaced it with um, two titanium plates instead of a fusion it's called angioplasty and it's way better than fusion and uh, anyway I, I'm just really grateful that number one the medical technology exists and number two that I have the insurance to pay for it so Two things to be grateful for, and a third, I guess, too, the fact that surgery went so well and so easy. Uh, Jenny, um, how's my neck now? It's, it's great. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Um, no pain, no numbness anymore. Um, I, I actually feel really good. I'm able to get around a lot better. Um, no complaints at all. Hey, 
And you know, I, one thing I really like about these um, Lego SUVs is these side mirrors they put on these. Uh, they, they vary with each set. I've seen them like this. I've seen them with little cheese wedges, like uh, I guess like this. Um, I, I've, I've seen the fold down ones like, like these. Um, it's such a variety of them and I, and I love it because you know it's just like real life you get out there and you drive and you'll see all kinds of different uh, models of cars having different types of things on them so um, I'm, I'm a big fan of the fact that Lego's been able to capture uh, many different types of models with these so uh, when I say the move I should really say um, uh, well yeah have I seen the new... No, I have not looked at the new Ninjago Legacy sets just yet. And uh, Jenny, as far as physical therapy, yes, uh, today was my second session and it's going really well. Um, and thanks for asking. I, I do appreciate the, the concern. Um, so uh, just to give you a little background, I've, I've, I've collected Lego since the age of four. So... Uh, collected quite a few over the years probably probably a few too many um but what what has happened is uh, my wife joined the military in 2007 and we have since moved ooh, i don't know i have to think about that how many times um but the first move was the roughest it was from ohio to germany and during that move one of our crates busted open and of course it was the crate with the legos in it and when I mean bust open, I mean like wide open. And so um, I never really had a chance to go back and assess what exactly um, is missing or broken or whatever. And so I figured what better time now that I'm trying to do a, a, a city to do it on camera. And uh, hey, I don't know, why not, why not have a conversation with you guys? It's uh, sure is a lot more fun doing this, talking to somebody than... Uh, just doing this by yourself. So I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. And I love that fog lamp on there in the front. That, that's a really nice touch. And, and also, I, I love how LEGO does the stickers here uh, with the set number in the license plate. That is awesome. It always helps you out, you know, to know what, uh, what set you're looking at if you've just got a couple random pieces. Oh, and to continue the move story, we moved from Germany to Maryland, Maryland to Virginia, and then now in Utah. Uh, this was not a military move to Utah, though. This was a uh, move to take care of my parents. They're uh, both my parents are the same age; they're almost eighty, and uh, you know, I just wanted to be close to them. I'd really hate to. I'd really hate, you know, to, to travel the world, missing out being with them, and it being too late by the time I'm done doing that. So um, we decided to uh, to come here as a non-military move. And now I'm just 15 minutes away from my parents rather than being days away from them. Oh, my favorite Lego set. Um, that is a really tough one to answer, mainly because there's a lot I like. But you know what? If I had to say favorite, I'm going to say it's the Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon. That one took me ooh, uh, almost a whole week to put together. Not that I sat down for a whole week and did it, but I mean like after work, uh, sitting down and doing it. And that one is upstairs on my dresser in my bedroom, and boy, it needs to be. That one didn't fare very good in the move, so I've got a lot of repair work to do on that one. That's going to be a tough one. What's your favorite set, uh, Radiator Springs?
what's my least favorite set? Um, oh, I have to think about that one. I'm going to pretty much say anything that's Friends. I'm not a huge Friends fan. Um, I love the colors, but the sets themselves, eh, they're not that great. However, I will admit that I have bought and I have purchased several of the uh, friend set just so I can Frankenstein the pieces to build something else. So uh, they are good. They're just I just don't like the sets as they are. An example is the roller coaster they came out with. I bought that one so that I could have a kitty roller coaster in my upcoming amusement park. So I did use parts of it and lots of parts to it, but not the whole entire set. And there's another reason that I like this this set a lot. Um, uh, my my wife and her parents uh, they they've owned horses throughout most of their lives, and so they're horse uh, they're horse fans and. Uh, oddly enough, my father-in-law has a horse trailer. It uh, looks like it came out of the, 50, the 60s or 70s. Uh, it's probably that old. Um, but anyway, uh, it's really funny because whenever we moved a couple times when we lived near them, and every time we did, he showed up with his horse trailer instead of a U-Haul, and he stuck everything in the horse trailer and hauled it, so it's kind of funny. Oh, Lego Death Star. Yes. Um, which one? Do you like the um, Ultimate Collector Series one where it doesn't have any minifigures in it? Like the, it has a bunch of the little, bunch of the little parts like this one and, and, and like this in it? Or, and I think it was Death Star 2. Or do you like the one that has uh, like the trash compactor and the minifigures and like the throne room? Uh, which, which, one are you, which one are you referring to there? And you guys let me know if you like this sort of um, live stream where I put together old sets and try to repair them uh, because I've got plenty of them to do. And if there's interest in there, I, I don't mind doing more of these just to get this done because i got to do it anyway. I am still planning on buying new sets, especially the Winnie the Pooh one coming up. Uh, that one has uh, sentimental value because my children uh, were big fans of Winnie the Pooh, so... I mean, of course, they're all pretty much grown now, so, but uh, there is that nostalgic value for me. Hey, John. Thanks for uh, tuning in, man. It's good to see you. Do I think there should be more cowboy sets? Absolutely. Um... I, if, you, if you're referring to the uh, Western sets with like Fort Lego Rado and um, uh, like the General Store, the Jail, those are my favorite. And thanks for hitting the like button, John. I, I appreciate that. And uh, share the stream. Uh, do you mean like on other uh, platforms or... So we're complete with this one here. I like your name, John. The starship uh, uh, after that Star Trek, huh? Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll uh, post this on Facebook as well. Um, I, I do have a Facebook page, uh, Chip Off the Old Block Toys. So I'll, I'll make sure to put that on there. 
Um, so, okay, we got one done. Uh, I've got several here. Um, this one actually looks like it doesn't need much repairing, so let's, let's do an easy one here. The first one, the minifigures. Okay, I know which one you're talking about now. And that's actually the one that I, uh, I own. Um, I did not get the Death Star 2. Um, and I did not get the second version of it. Oh, that's really dirty. I don't think my brush is in here. Um, oh, boy. I was hoping to be able to do this without instructions, but I think I may not get away with that. Um, I own three of these, and I don't see any minifigures, so I must be missing the bag. Actually, I know I am, because uh, the other one has the, um, the other bag has the uh, wind, uh, wind turbine that goes with this. And I'm sorry, I, I have trouble thinking about more than one thing at once. Do I plan on doing a shed for your horses in your city? Um, actually, I, I, I hadn't thought of it, but... I do have the stable set from about 1985, and I have the, I think it's pronounced Paradisa, Paradisa, um, set that also has horses, so yeah, you know, I could easily do it, and plus I've got a ton of horses. Um, one of the things about buying bulk Legos that's used is you get a hodgepodge of everything, and uh, it's such to the point where I've got a whole entire drawer um, uh, a 10 in, 12 inch by 12 inch drawer about 2 inches deep and I've got a ton of horses and animals in there and uh, come to think of it I've got, I've got two of those uh, drawers um, I'm going to have to minimize here just for a second because i got to pull up the instructions on this I need to know what I'm doing here Oh, yeah, and it came with a car to warn of the wide load. Okay. All right. Well, that makes sense. Okay. All right. For, so for what I could find, uh, this is it. Oh, I, I should have looked. Here's the um, here's the lead car that tells you the wide load's coming, and that's part of this set. So let's go ahead and throw this guy together. It looks like there's only about 30 pieces here. It shouldn't take too long. I do I do not have the Lego Fabuland at all. I have none of those. Uh, John, they, they, they do still have those pieces, um, uh, but uh, you'll pay a pretty penny for it on BrickLink or uh, Brick Owl. eBay sometimes have it, has it, but uh, I find that eBay and Amazon are way overpriced for Legos. I, I stay away from there. Uh, once in a great while, I'll find an auction of hodgepodge on eBay that makes it worth it, but that's not very often. In fact, I don't even look anymore. Um, Facebook Marketplace is a great place to get vintage Legos. Uh, people are starting to get wise about their value, um, but you still get good deals. Um, I, not to pick on the dead, and I'm not trying to, but I've gotten plenty of Legos from uh, family members that, you know, hey, this guy passed away and just selling his Lego collection, and, and I've picked up some stuff way under value. Uh, people just don't know the value of the family. They just see it as junk and... They figure, oh, I'll just throw it on there and make a couple bucks. And yeah, that's about all they make. But uh, I end up walking away with quite a few good sets. And usually they're, they're vintage sets too. Oh, and uh, I've been working on... Uh, yeah, well, next time I hit a big score, Radiator Springs, I'll hit you up and see if you... See if there's anything you want out of there. 
But yeah, Amazon, their their fees for uh, toys is either 20 or 25 percent. So it, the markup's just crazy. Um, I've been working on the city, which I will have a, a video update tomorrow. Um, I'm going to shoot that tonight after this, and it'll be edited on there tomorrow. But um, I've been working on the city quite a bit this week, and I ran out of pieces. Uh, I thought I had enough, but I ran out. So I've placed two decent size um, BrickLink orders, and I placed a pretty large order from uh, bricks and pieces from uh, Lego. It um, they are having sale on certain windows, uh, the one by four by six windows, nine cents a piece. So I bought the maximum a thousand of the blue and a thousand of the clears, and I also bought some other blue pieces and some light bluish gray for the garage. I got quite a bit going on right now with that. Yeah, um, Radiator Springs. I, I've got um, I got two people that I know, um, and I've got um, I've got a guy in Fresno, California, who he seems to have the best. I mean, I've gotten monorail pieces off of him, uh, which is always greatly appreciated. I love the monorails. Um, and there's another guy in Michigan. I can't remember the city. Um, that he buys used Legos from somewhere, and uh, the last time I ordered from that guy was 200 pounds. That took me a solid month because um, I wash them, of course, and I don't count that time. Um, but I I actually wash my Legos, to be honest with you, a couple times because um, I don't know what people have been doing with it, and I don't want to get sick or anything like that. I'm a little got a slight phobia there. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, that guy in Michigan, I got 200 pounds off him. And there was a monorail station in there, and I was I was so happy to get that from him. Um, monorail stations are hard to come by, and also there were some uh, like uh, the Western set, the Fort Legorado. There was a couple of minifigure torsos in there and stuff. So you never know what you're gonna get when you get a set like that or a, 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 a haul like that. All right, I might have a problem with this. Might be cracked because it's not holding. Oh, no, there it goes. Okay. SpongeBob. Oh yes, I. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm one of them. I'm one of them people that thought SpongeBob was funny for his first couple seasons. I, I absolutely love how when they're swearing, it's the dolphin sound. Um, and yes, I do. I have Bikini Bottom, uh, the uh, pineapple. I've got uh, Squidward's home. Got the Krusty Krab. I've got the glove uh, ride. I, I can't remember what it's called. And that doesn't seem right because that's not. I don't know what that is. Okay, there we go. All right. Got an extra piece in here. The Adventurers. Yes, I have a few of them. I've got the. Uh, and I'm sorry, the name escapes me, but it's the one that has the giant cobra uh, thing to it. And it's got the, it kind of looks like Indiana Jones a little bit, but it's not, you know. But I have that one. And then I've got one that looks kind of like a, a temple. Um, but I think that's all I have on the adventures. I didn't get too much into that. Um, do you have any of the adventure sets? And thanks, John. I, I appreciate you letting me know I'm doing a great job. Sometimes you don't know when you do these sort of things, so I appreciate the feedback. And this one looks like it got kicked in the mouth a few times, so. The Pharaoh Surprise. Okay. I have. Um, I have some of the, uh, they have like a, it's not a battle pack, but it's like the battle packs from the adventures. The ones where they had the coffins and a couple of the, um, uh, what do you call mummy soldiers, I guess. Um, and, and before they went out of style, I, I bought like, 
I think a dozen of them, so I've got a ton of coffins. Um, not really doing much with them. They're just kind of sitting. Oh, I hate when that happens. Look at that. Uh, that's part of the move. It's split on me. All right. Well, I've definitely got extras. Wow, this set came with a lot of minifigures. That's, I'm really glad to see that. That'll help me out in my city. Ooh. Sorry, I can't take your call, Ben. Um, you know what? I, uh, I don't even know. Let me let me look up uh, and see how old this set is. That's a good question. What set was that? Six. There we go. Uh, it's not that old. This one was released in 2015, so um, uh, it's about six years old. This is the one with the orange trains, the orange streetcar trains, like uh, the one I did the other night where I added the windows to it. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to, if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to jog over right over here, and I'm going to grab another one of these parts because it's just right here in the room. I'll be right back. Oh, do I ever like Lego trains. My favorite is the uh, Emerald Knight, the dark green one, the steam engine. That's got to be the best set. Uh, do, you, do you have a favorite uh, train set? Oh, the one with the Sphinx. Yes, I have that one. Yeah, that's a good one. I agree. Oh boy. The Lone Ranger, yes. Um, that kind of looks like the American um, steam engine and I, I do have that one. I also have the one uh, Lone Ranger with a stagecoach. Uh, not that I, I don't mean to sound arrogant when I say this, but it, it's sometimes hard to keep track of what I have because I do have about 1,100 sets. Um, I, I joke with my mom and I told her I said, I needed to buy a bigger house. And my mom's just like, well, you just, you just moved in a year and a half ago. What do you need a new house for? And I told her because of my Legos, and she told me I may want to reevaluate things. Oh, yes, your, your dad's adventure set. Yeah, I think you mentioned before in another um, another one of these uh, that uh, you and your dad collect Legos together, and that's really awesome. I, I am so glad to hear that because Legos brought me and my kids together as well. It's, it's a great pastime. It's clean. It's a little expensive, but, you know, hey, if you collect Legos, you just kind of accept that it's expensive. And this is perfect. I love this little truck. I actually have a modular um, Lego store. That's my. It's not a. It's not a mock. It's a mod because it, it's it's a Lego set that I've expanded and made bigger. It was based on yeah yeah, it was based on the Transcontinental Railroad, Railroad which actually, um, I live about an hour and fifteen minutes from uh, Promontory Point, uh, where they drove the Golden Spike, where the two uh, East and West lines came together and. Every year they do a reenactment. Um, I've been here for two of those reenactments, but I haven't been. But I, I'll go to the next one. I think that'd be really cool. And they actually bring out the two trains that, that met. Um, they've been, of course, maintained and refurbished a few times. A really cool ceremony. My dad's in the trains. That's why I know about it. He's, he has actually been a part of those reenactments. So, yeah, one of these, you know, the next one I'll have to make sure I attend that. And this one actually wasn't as bad as I thought. 
Um, I've got all three done here. I actually, you know, with the newer pieces, uh, the the round piece um, with with the center stud on it, I'm gonna have to replace that so it doesn't fall off here. Because at the time they didn't have that piece, but now they do. Well, this has been very productive so far. I've been able to get a few of these sets knocked out. Of course, like I said, that thing keeps falling off. Oh, here's one. Here's a good one. And you know, that's another thing I could do is I could probably make a few videos with the Lego trains because I've got to go through them. They're in bags like this one and they've probably fallen apart as well. So I could make a few videos uh, or live streams doing those as well. This one's not too bad. This one is the um, Spider-Man set. Uh, Spider-Man Subway Chase. And I bought two of them. And I thought I had connectors on them to make them together. But I guess I must have taken it off at some time. But this is going to be my subway in my city underground. So. Oh, yes. This set here. So, this set here is an Indiana Jones. And it is awesome. So, um, you see the bite marks here? And the bite marks on this canvas piece. That was a cat that I got. Got her from the shelter. I thought she was going to be a good fit until I found out she chews Legos. And that was several years ago. Um, and what was really made me mad about this set is it wasn't just laying out. She actually, it was between two boxes. She pulled it out, tore open the bag, and chewed on this set. I replaced most of the pieces, but this particular canopy I didn't replace because when I went on BrickLink, the canopy all by itself, brand new, is forty-five dollars, and I'm just I just can't see uh, I can't see doing that. Whoa, it's saying this set doesn't exist. Okay, well I'm gonna have to research that at a different time. Maybe I wrote down the number, number wrong here. And the good old one, Formula Racer. Yes, that's um, this particular set right here. That uh, this is the Indiana Jones set. Yes, or one of them. Yeah, unfortunately, um, I I did get rid of that cat, um, and I'm sorry to admit that. I, I am I am a cat lover, but uh, once she chewed that, um, and she also wasn't getting along with my other cat too well, and it just wasn't working out. It wasn't a good fit. Um, and I'm sorry to say that because if you know me and you know that I have uh, two cats right now and one I've had for eight years, I don't, I, I don't get rid of pets. Once they're mine, they're mine for life. And unfortunately she just wasn't a good fit. So, um, I broke my own rule with that one. This is the Ferrari set, one of them. This one looks like it's pretty much together. Yep, it is. I don't know if you guys can see it too well. Move that down a little bit.
Yeah, I have the um, Ferrari Garage that uh, came on the white base plate. And I also have the finishing line with the trophies. Uh, got quite a bit there. Looks like a helmet popped off here. Looks like I'm almost done with this guy. Okay, that goes on the side. But where does this go? Oh, they don't have it in there. Okay. Kind of shocker. Okay, we've got that. Oh, this guy here goes. We've got a spare tire. A guy with fireproof helmet. Oh, well. Uh, does it rain in Utah? Very little. Um, it snows pretty good in the winter, but uh, during the summertime, it's very dry here. Um, I I love the I love it though because I've for the last several years lived in Ohio and Virginia and Maryland where it's uh, pretty humid, and so this was this was a good move. Um, if my parents weren't here, I probably would have been tempted to move here anyway just because of the weather. I, I do like the fact it doesn't rain very often. Um, how many Lego cars do I have? Boy, I don't know. Um, I have about 1,100 sets, and not all of them have cars, but some come with more than one car, like the, the uh, town center one. It comes with a couple different things, and uh, the windmill one um, comes with the truck and the, the uh, warning truck, so that's really hard to know. I, I think I'd probably spend a couple days just trying to go through and count them. Um, but maybe not a bad idea to do that. Well, guys, we've been on here for about 40 minutes. I, I do appreciate uh, you guys tuning in today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it off for here, but uh, thanks for joining, and if you didn't hit the like button, please do. And um, watch out for tomorrow's video. Like I said, it's going to be an update of the city. I'd really like to show you guys what I've been up to there. A lot of good things. So, all right, guys, enjoy. Be good to each other, and I'll see you guys on the uh, next video. Good night, guys.